Good evening, children of God. Emphasis on children. That is what you people call yourselves, isn't it? It's Colonel Aldous Valor here. And today I will be reading from the book of John, chapters 15 through 17. Well, we're not going to have 16 parts of 16 in there. And uh, let's see, this goes on to 18, it looks like. I want to make sure I get some of that red ink. I just can't stop myself from doing this whenever a Christian tells me to quit smoking. A nice fatty. And anyone who says that I stole this from fact versus religion can go fuck themselves. Because I did it first and that bitch stole it from me. This is a video response to Inventor Gorilla. And uh, he brought up several points in his video to me. And I'm going to address them in no particular order because apparently I suffer from attention deficit disorder. We're going to start with smoking. I smoke mainly out of spite. I know, that's a terrible reason to smoke. Well, fuck you. If you're going to tell me not to smoke, I'm going to enjoy it that much more when I just go ahead and do it anyway. Inventor Gorilla says that I'm killing myself by smoking. I don't look at it that way. I look at it as setting my own terms. He also, he also wants me to get into what happened to me as a child that, that gave me this disdain, <clears throat> this hatred for religion. You want me to talk about it? Fine. I'll tell you all about that fateful day in kindergarten. Mrs. Whitaker, I believe her name was. It was so long ago. Told me that I, I had to pledge allegiance to the flag of America. And that America is one nation under God. I wasn't going to lie. We fast forward to fourth grade, and uh, Mr. Faringer brought up uh, euthanasia. I know, there's way too many kids over there. But uh, he mentioned that euthanasia was being outlawed, that suffering people had to suffer instead of dying mercifully. Why? Because religious people were protesting it. Religious people were saying that we were playing God. At that time, the only religion I had ever encountered was Christianity. So religious people meant Christians. And as I grew older, I found out all about all these other decisions that Christians were making. The king of bullshit wanted to know why an atheist just doesn't go on and live their life. They don't believe in God. Great. Just go do your thing. It's because of the the idiot Christians and I know that there's a difference between idiot Christians and moderate Christians but the idiot Christians are the ones that are going out and passing all these laws. It's these Christians that are voting on these laws. Laws that stand in the way of progress. That's why I'm here. 
That's why I bitch. And the whole thing about not swearing, don't fucking tell me what to do. I don't tell you what to do. Except maybe to shut the fuck up. He also wants to know where this discussion with me is going to go. Well, I have made a name for myself climbing over the corpses of channels that I've killed in the past. <laughs> And yours will be no different. Arch Villainy. Watching cartoons, movies as a child. I learned from a very young age that, uh... The bad guys have more fun. And that's what my life has been about. Enjoying it. I'm not going to be shackled to the rules written down in a book that was written down thousands of years ago a book that was mistranslated and misinterpreted several times I was raised in a secular household I did try to do the Christian thing and as I already explained when I honestly asked Jesus to enter my heart nothing fucking happened. Idiots are not a race, you bonehead. I'm not. It, if, if idiots were a race, well then yeah. I'd, I'd be a racist, but... I, idiots aren't a race. They're, they're a victim to poor genetic material. Which leads me to my next question. You've made several comments that uh, lead me to believe that you believe evolution to be a lie. Okay. All right. So instead of asking you what your views on uh, evolution are, I'm going to ask you a much simpler question. And that question is, how old is the Earth? A few, a few other minor things here. Um, a few, a few other minor things to mention here. That uh, you, you mentioned that uh, reference I made to being a teacher. That that line was made in passing, and it was made metaphorically. It started off with the word "if," and the fact that you couldn't see that just proves my point that you are indeed an idiot. Lack of vocabulary. If I lacked a vocabulary, I wouldn't be talking to you right now because I wouldn't know any words. I'd lack a vocabulary. I think what you were trying to say was that I have a limited vocabulary and that's simply not the truth. I look at swearing as adding a little spiciness to a tasty word sandwich. One last question here. I already posed this question once before and uh, no Christians answered. I at least expected Epidemic 2020 to answer because he answered all my other questions in the past but uh, he didn't do it. The question was I get a hold of Grover Cleveland's presidential time machine and I invite you to go back in time with me to the day before Easter 33 BCE and we wait and Jesus doesn't rise from the dead we use that time machine to move one week forward because I'm not going to spend a week with you and Jesus still the 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 rock that sealed the the tomb is still closed we even go inside and we find Jesus quietly rotting away in his tomb the question 
would you still be a Christian? What would you tell your congregation? And how would it affect your life knowing that uh, Christianity is a lie? If you don't answer this, you're a coward and you're a hypocrite. I mean, you're already proving yourself to be a coward not posting my video responses, but you're a hypocrite because Christians ask atheists all the time. What if you're wrong? And we atheists, we answer honestly. Why can't atheists do the same thing? Why can't we ask you Christians, what if you're wrong? Why don't I have a disdain for Jews? Well, I do have a disdain for Jews. It's just that Jews aren't very fun to pick on. I mean, the Jewish people are known throughout history to be world-class bullshitters. Look at Moses, for example. Everything Moses wrote down was a lie. And uh, Jesus was a Jew, too. So we can't trust anything that he fucking says. <laughs> So, there's this idiot running around. He calls himself Aldous Fake Valor. I know. Real original. And he said that if I released another video, he's going to false flag me. Well, here it is, fake me. Do your worst. <laughs>